Lord, you have always shown us the way from darkness into the light. For those struggling now to see the light, we ask that you shine brightly in our world. Amen. Mother Claire began. Father is in a full-blown passion with his arms extended and in terrible pain. Yes, we have enemies, but we have bound them all, and the Lord is suffering terribly, calling out for his bride. Where is my spouse? Where are my brides? This all began just before the three o'clock hour. The house is a mess since we are in the throes of organizing. The crows have been around the house, and we've been in warfare this morning. Oh, Lord, pick me up and hold me up to stand on this mountain, for the storm is intense. It is now 6.20 p.m., and Jesus raised me up with two helpers to get the house back in order. I saw the Lord in the agony of the garden, his face exuding blood from the pores, and he was kneeling in the garden calling out for many names. Lord, are you here? Jesus began speaking. Their plans are horrendous. Truly, this is Satan's hour. Keep praying. It is changing things. Keep praying for the children and the unsaved. Your prayers will reach my Father in heaven. Claire, I know how you feel about your inability to feel what is appropriate for the moment you are in. I understand your grief, but things would be much different if you were not on your medication. I need you to be present to the community and continue to speak out the message. The best possible thing you can do for me and the world is to pray for poor sinners who have not a clue, and no matter how much more time I would give them to convince them of what is coming, because they do not want to see it. If they see it, then they must do something about it, and they do not want to be pulled away from their lifestyle. Pray for their last moment that salvation will find them. These prayers I will answer. Thank you for getting things together. My love, I will help you if you will but calm down and go about your mess methodically while praying. I want your mind to be thinking clearly, which it is not in this moment. It is in disarray. Prayer helps, but the intensity of his suffering reaches down into your very own heart, and it is very hard for you. And it is as it should be, for these are tragic and weighty days you are witnessing. Cleave to me. I am always by your side. Don't you feel me? Yes, Lord, I do. He continued. The next step is to ask me what you should be doing. Prayer, work, music. Try to focus, beloved. I truly am coaching you. Today you made the right choices. But even when you do make the best choices, the enemy will try to come in and distract you with lies that you should be doing something else to steal your peace. Please ignore him and his lies. Cleave to me and feel good about obeying what I've asked you to do. More and more people will be blind to these things and even accuse you of failing to do your duties. Do you see how I protect you from all that? Yes, I do. But you must be cleaving to me and sincerely asking for guidance, for it is my joy to lead you in my ways. Even now, as you wish for a little friend to come and sit next to you, and she did, do you think that was an accident? No, my love, that was my comfort for a breaking heart. I know the depth of your pain, and now you know the depth of mine. Lord, make me and all of us stronger in doing your will. This prayer I will answer. God bless you and keep you, dear heart dwellers. Thank you so much for your prayers and support of the Lord's work through this ministry.